Previously, we've discussed position, displacement, and velocity in our discussion of kinematics. And today we're gonna to add one more element to our, our kinematic terms here, and that is acceleration. Now acceleration is a pretty widely misunderstood concept. So today I wanna to tie acceleration back to these other concepts that we've already discussed using a dump truck and a race car. You see, both of these vehicles can go from zero to 60 miles an hour. It's just the race car does that a whole lot faster. And it's in how quickly this race car can go from zero to 60 that we can explain what acceleration actually is. So if we were to graph the velocity of these vehicles as they speed up, both of these vehicles are gonna go from zero to 60 miles an hour. It's just the car's gonna do it a lot faster. So the car's gonna start at a velocity of zero and a short time later, make it up to 60 miles an hour. So the curve on our velocity versus time graph for our car is gonna be relatively steep, meaning the car goes from zero to 60 pretty quickly. Our dump truck, on the other hand, is gonna go from zero up to 60 miles an hour. It's just gonna take much more time. And we see that on our graph because our dump truck takes more time, that's a horizontal shift, in order to make it up to 60 miles an hour. And it's in the difference in performance between these two vehicles that we're actually able to define acceleration. You can see acceleration is given by change in velocity over change in time. So while yes, both vehicles had the same change in velocity from zero up to 60 miles an hour, they did so in very different amounts of time, meaning they have different accelerations. So if you're to look in a physics book, you'd see acceleration defined as the instantaneous rate of change in velocity with respect to time. And really that definition should feel a little bit familiar. You remember we defined velocity as the instantaneous rate of change in position with respect to time. The only difference between these two is simply in one case we're measuring how fast position is changing and in the other we're measuring how quickly velocity is changing. Now for whatever reason people tend to want to think of acceleration as simply a change in velocity with nothing to do with how quickly that change in velocity occurs. Realize that's no more correct than saying velocity is nothing other than a change in position with no respect to time. No, we know that's not true. Change in position is what we refer to as displacement. It's only when we put time in that we get velocity. And just in the same way, it's only when we put time into our change in velocity that we get acceleration. Now to actually calculate the acceleration of either of our vehicles here, uh, we're gonna need a little bit more than what's been drawn on this graph here. You'll see we have a change in velocity for both vehicles, that's 27 meters per second. But I didn't label how long that takes. So let's just make up some data and say our race car is gonna take 2.5 seconds to go from zero to 60. Our dump truck on the other hand is gonna take 15 seconds. So the acceleration of the race car is gonna be given by the change in velocity, that's 27 meters per second, minus zero, the initial velocity, divided by the total change in time, that's 2.5 seconds, giving an acceleration of 10.8. Now let's talk about units here. If we look at the equation, you'll notice in the numerator, you've got change in velocity. So the units in that numerator would be meters per second. In the denominator, we've got units of time, that's seconds. So it's gonna be meters per second divided by seconds, which we refer to as meters per second squared. Now looking at our dump truck, the dump truck, just like the race car, is gonna start at zero and finish at 27 meters per second. But this time, the dump truck's gonna take 15 seconds to speed up, giving an acceleration of 1.8 meters per second squared. So this has been an explanation of acceleration using a dump truck and a race car. And on that note, that's all for now.